Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlamelineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this. Do you want a professional animation service? Then I am here for help you. Click the link in the description box below for more information. I really sorry guys for not uploading videos for the past few months. I was really busy with my new office setup. Please comment down below if you want to see my new office setup tour. Ok, can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Ok, so let's get started. Ok, so first create a new composition by clicking here and let's call it metal text and i am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration make it 6 seconds long then click on ok ok now we are going to create our text so right click new and click on text then type your text here i type in tailor then uh, select this text layer and then go to paragraph and click on this center text icon if you don't find it in your after effects then simply go to window and then click on paragraph for this text i am using azonix font you can download this font from the link in the description box below ok let's increase the font size and make it center ok now go to beginning of this animation and then go to effect and preset window and open animation preset then open text then open tracking and then select decrease tracking effect and apply onto this text layer perfect ok now select this text layer then press u to open keyframes then change the tracking amount to 150 then select this last keyframe and drag it into end of this composition looks good to me ok now we are going to create another text so right click new and then click on text and i am typing cinematic for this text i am using a bangothic font you can download this font from the link in the description box below ok let's make it a little bit smaller and change the position and let's make it center looks good to me ok now go to around 1 second then select the text layer and then press T to open opacity then set a keyframe on it and make it 0 then go forward few frames and opacity set it 100% perfect looks good to me ok now select these two layers and then right click and then choose pre-compose and select mobile attributes and rename it to text then click on ok then select this layer and press ctrl plus d twice then hide the top layer and then select the second layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for fill then select this effect and apply onto this layer and color set it black then again go to effect and preset window and search for matte choker then select this effect and apply onto this layer and then a geometric softness set it 2 and iteration set it 4 ok now select this two layer and then right click and choose pre-compose and let's call it text border and set it move all attributes then click on ok ok now hide this layer 
then turn on visibility of this layer. Ok let's import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below so please check this out. Ok now select reflection map and put it below the text layer. Then make it smaller little bit. Then go to effect and preset window and search for motion tile. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then output width set it 200 and click on mirror edges. Then go to beginning of this animation and then set a keyframe on tile center. Then go to end of this animation and increase the X amount. Ok now select this layer and then right click and choose pre-compose and select move all attributes and rename it to reflection map. Then click on ok. Ok now change the layer track mat to alpha mat. If you don't see the track mat button simply click here. Then change the track mat to alpha mat. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for CC glass. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then open surface and then bump map set it our text border. Then softness set it 30. And height set it uh, minus 30. And displacement set it minus 500. Then open light and light type set it point light. Then again go to effect and preset window and search for CC blobby lies. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then open blobbiness and blob layer set it text border and then uh, property set it alpha. And softness set it 6 and cut away set it 3. Then open light and light type set it point light perfect looks good to me again go to effect and preset window and search for curves then select this effect and apply onto this layer and then change the rgb curves to something like this looks good to me Ok now create a new uh, composition, so go to composition, new composition and let's call it main. Then click on ok. Then go to project window and select background and place it into this composition. Then select metal text comp and put it above the background layer. Looks good to me. Make this layer 3D by clicking here then go to beginning of this animation and then select this layer and press P to open position then set a keyframe on position and decrease the Z amount very high like this then go forward few seconds and then uh, Z amount set it 0 then select these two keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this. For smooth animation. Ok let's run preview it. Looks good to me. Ok let's add motion blur by clicking here and don't forget to turn on this big motion blur icon. Ok now go to project window and select uh, lens flare and place it into this composition. Then change the layer mode to add. Then adjust the position little bit. Looks good to me. 
Ok now we are going to create adjustment layer. For this right click then new and then click on adjustment layer and rename it to CC. Then go to effect and preset window and search for curves. Then select these curves and apply onto this adjustment layer. Then change the RGB curves to something like this. Then select blue and then change the blue curves to something like this. Perfect. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for sharpen. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. And then sharpen amount set it 5. Then again go to effect and preset window and search for noise. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. And uh, noise amount set it 5. Looks good to me. Ok now we are create a black solid layer so right click new and then click on solid. Make it black and rename it to flimber. Then click on ok. And then select this layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it. And then double click on this max path and hold down alt and control then drag and then max mode set it subtract our animation is ready press 0 to ramp view this thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day